In this lesson, we are going to learn how to download, install and configure gcloud CLI that is the GCP cloud CLI, the command line interface. For that, we can go to google.com and type gcloud CLI download and click. So the first link here, it says install the gcloud CLI. Click here. Now here, if we scroll down, we have this installation instructions and here at the beginning, for Windows, if you select over here, so this line is download the gcloud CLI installer or Google Cloud CLI installer. Click over here. Now it got downloaded. Let me go to the download location. So double click over here. There are a couple of options. Turn on screen reader mode. Help make Google Cloud CLI better. I am not going to check them. Click on next. Click on I agree. Next. Here it is providing a default location. I prefer to install all the softwares in a particular location. So I am going to change the path. So I am changing it. Click next. Click on install. Now this installation process is time consuming. So I am going to pause the recording. And once the extraction or the installation is done, I will resume the video. You can also click on show details just to have an idea what is going on. Now it's performing post processing steps. Here I can see it is telling update done and this next button is enabled. Click next. Now it's telling completing Google Cloud CLI setup. If I click finish, what it will do? It will create start menu shortcut, desktop shortcut, start the Google Cloud SDK shell and run the G Cloud in it so that we can configure the Google Cloud CLI. I can uncheck and run the command myself or I can just click on finish. Let me uncheck this. I want to run it myself. Click on finish. Now one command prompt window opens. The G cloud is now installed. Now to give you an idea of what commands to run, let me go to the browser. In order to initialize or configure the G cloud CLI, there are multiple commands. One of them is G cloud init. Apart from G Cloud Init, we have G Cloud Authentication Login, G Cloud Authentication Activate Service Account, multiple things. But here we will use G Cloud in it only. Now, in case you are in a remote terminal session, you can use this particular version double hyphen no hyphen launch browser because you don't have the browser over here. But in my case, that is not the scenario. So I'm going to use G Cloud in it only. Let me copy this, go to command prompt, paste it, enter. Here it is asking that I have to log in. Yes, enter. Now it is asking me to perform a sign in to the G Cloud account where my account is created. So I'm going to enter the credentials over here. Entering my password. Click next. The password is wrong. Let me re enter. Close this. So here it shows Google Cloud SDK wants to access your Google account for this particular email ID. This will allow the Google Cloud SDK to do certain things. If you agree, you have to click allow. Let me click allow. You are now authenticated with the G Cloud CLI. So if I go back to the command line now, here you can see we were here. You must log in to continue. I gave Y. Now the browser was opened. Then I provided my credentials over there. And it says you are logged in as this is my email ID. And I have certain existing projects within my Google Cloud account. That's why it is showing me all those projects. Now I can use those projects or create a new one. Multiple options are there. So what we have done overall, we have downloaded the G Cloud CLI. We have installed it and we have set it up with a particular Google Cloud account. So that is all for this particular lesson. Thanks all.